Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video, we're going to be talking about Yada Bank and just going over uh, how it's been working out for me. I've actually been using them for almost a year now. I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, my results and uh, I guess how it's been compared to a regular bank and what kind of interest you're getting on your money there. So if you guys aren't aware, basically what Yada is, it's, it's a completely online bank. They have no, you know, in-person um, stores or anything or locations and the one thing as well is they only have an app which to me is a little annoying um, just because sometimes I like to look at some of that stuff on my computer and also for making these videos um, if I want to show you guys my account um, just to record it it's a little bit easier just to do it on the computer um, and I don't have to be transferring files from my phone to my computer and stuff like that um, so I would prefer if they had some sort of you know web interface uh, you could access your account from online, but you can't. Uh, they just have, you know, they have a website and they just have like information and you have to download the app to use it. But basically what Yada is, is it's just like a savings account and you can, you know, deposit money there. Um, and they give you a base interest rate of 0.2%, which is pretty low to begin with, but um, it's certainly higher than some regular banks. Um, it's definitely lower than some other, you know, of the traditional high interest savings accounts uh, that are online, like maybe Marcus or Ally or something like that. That 0.2% is a little bit lower, but uh, what Yada does offer is they have a, essentially a lottery based system where, you know, every week, depending on how much money you have in your account, you get a certain number of tickets. And then um, that week, uh, every single day there's a drawing and at the end of the week depending on how many um, of the numbers you got to match uh, you know basically determines how much of a prize you get um, so generally speaking the prizes I've received at least have been you know much greater than the base interest rate but the base interest rate is nice and it pays out monthly um, so that is a little bit extra but the prizes is you know the bulk of it um, and they do have some interesting features that they've you know been adding on. I know they have a debit card now, um, which I don't use. I don't really use debit cards at all anyway, so um, I don't really use that at all, so I'm not sure. Now they also have this feature where you can sort of pool your tickets together with other people, um, and that's actually worked out a little bit for me. Um, I've been doing that for a few months now, and I think that I think helped because um, you know when you have more tickets, um, obviously you're going to have to split the prizes, but uh, as you get into scenarios where the um, prizes are larger, those are a lot less likely to occur. But if you do hit one of those, um, then that you know split up prize would still probably be greater than something of a lower probability, if that makes sense. Um, so I think overall it has been working for me and I'll definitely be showing you guys everything on my phone in just a second. So right now we're just looking at my account here on the app. So as you can see, I have $2,131.91 in this account, and that's basically 85 tickets. So for every $25 you put into the account, you get one ticket in the drawing every single week. So that's 85 tickets. Um, and basically uh, right now is Sunday. Uh, so it goes, it starts on Monday and then ends Sunday night. Um, so basically the first six numbers that are drawn are just regular numbers. Um, so they can sort of be uh, in any order in your tickets. Uh, so for example, in one of these tickets here, we got 34, 35, and 59 that matched, but those did not necessarily, they were not necessarily picked in that order. Um, as you can see, 59 was actually picked first. So the first six tickets, they can be in any order on your tickets or the six, first six numbers can be in any order on your tickets, but then the last number is called the Yada number, I think. And so uh, there's a special Yada number on your ticket here. It's this one on the very right. And then that one has to match the ticket that's drawn on Sunday as well. So that makes it a little bit more difficult, I guess, or the chances are a little bit more against you. Um, but uh, I'll look at this, how much I can win thing right here. So this basically shows, uh, you know, for every single combination pretty much that's how much you can win so if you just match if your ticket only matches the yada number then you get 10 cents if you match three regular numbers you get 15 cents if you match a regular number and then the yada number you get 15 cents you get two numbers and a yada number then you get 75 cents um, 
you get four numbers, you get $7, and three numbers and a yada number, you get $10. And I think uh, those are the highest amounts I've ever won um, at one time. And then, you know, there's pretty uh, ridiculous amounts up here, but uh, aside from the Tesla, if you get match six, you get a Tesla, um, apparently. I don't know how that happens, but. And then these other four that have little stars next to them, that basically means that um, you don't get that full amount. It's basically, uh, so if we just look at this 3000 here, that's five of the regular numbers. So basically everyone that week that matches five of the regular numbers, they split that $3,000. Um, so generally speaking, it's still gonna be a decent amount of money, um, I think, but it's not like if you match five, you get a whole $3,000. That's something to keep in mind as well. And apparently if you get all six numbers and the yada, you get $10 million and split it if anyone else does, but um, I don't know if that's ever happened, but uh, that would be pretty insane, I think. But uh, I guess you do have a chance. It's pretty freaking low, but you do have a chance. Um, so right now, uh, we'll go over to my account here and just kind of see the history here. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it'll take a little bit, but you can see I started this account basically a year ago. I think maybe September 20th or so, we'll see in a second. Yeah, so September 24th, I made my first deposit of just $100. And then from there, you can see uh, basically first prize I got was on September 27th of 15 cents. And then this savings bonus on October 1st, that's basically the base interest rate of 0.2% annually. Uh, so the savings bonus is just the interest rate and then the prizes are the you know lottery drawings. Um, then I deposited some more in October. Uh, and then I actually think I withdrew some money at some point. No, I deposited more in January, uh, $500. Then my account was at a thousand. Deposited 200 more in February to bring me to 1200. And I looks like actually I won a $10 prize here in March, which that was pretty awesome. Um, and then in May I deposited 900 more dollars so that brought my account to 2100, I believe. And then I actually deposited a uh, thousand or sorry withdrew a thousand at one point um, I think I was just kind of moving some of my money around at that point and then I think I deposited that one thousand dollars back so basically the total amount I've deposited so far is two thousand one hundred dollars into this account um, but you know I haven't had that two thousand one hundred in this account you can see right here this is sort of a balance history I haven't had that two thousand one hundred in the account the entire time um, so Basically, that means I've won $31.91 or earned $31.91. Um, and that is, you know, all earnings, obviously. But if we were to calculate a return on that, it's not really going to be perfect since I didn't have that $2,100 the entire time. But we'll go ahead and try to calculate it anyway. So uh, I deposited $2,100 and I won $31.91. So if we just divide that by 2,100, you can see uh, pretty much for the year, my you know rate of return for this account was about 1.5%. We multiply that by 100, about 1.519, 1.52% return, or I wouldn't say return, I guess it is a return, but it's not like I'm investing. You know, This is not an investment account by any means, just a savings account to put my money and hopefully not lose as much to inflation um, so you know i think 1.5 percent is pretty good for a savings account at least at this point um, in time when interest rates are generally very low across the board so overall i am pretty happy uh with how it's going and you can see right now it shows these uh you know realized um returns for every single month so it says for august my return if I got the same return, or if I won the same amount every single month that I did in August, I would actually get a 4% return, which is pretty crazy, uh, because basically you can see here, uh, I got a $1.17 prize, $2.95, and $2.89, which were three pretty big ones for me. Most of them I would say are around 20 to 50 or 60 cents. Uh, the most recent week we got 47 cents, before that 40 cents, before that 36 cents. Um, so. Those are pretty standard amounts. Um, and I also am in one of these pools where some of my tickets, pretty much all of my tickets are pooled together. Um, so if I go in here, basically I only have, I have 85 tickets, but everyone in my pool together has 228 tickets. Um, so that I think mine is around, you know, 37%. 
um, it will show me if I go to past results um, it'll show me like last week's results um, if it loads real quickly and we can see basically I won like 37% of the earnings or I get 37% of the earnings from the pool so yeah the pool won a total of $1.25 and um, I earned 37% of that so that's how I got that 47 cents so if you guys do want to join our pool um, there's a code right here and I'll put that in the video description as well and then also if you guys haven't signed up for Yada and want to or are interested in it or at least want to try it out um, if you do sign up then um, as it says right here basically every time someone signs up with my link uh, then I'll get and you will get like 100 bonus tickets so those 100 tickets are just for one week um, but it does give you a pretty good chance um, of getting some extra prizes that week, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you get, you know, multiple referrals, um, then you can get some additional perks, I think, and stuff like that. So I think that was pretty interesting that they do have that referral program. And the one other thing that I actually saw just recently, um, it's not a feature quite yet, but basically they're going to sort of get into the crypto like stablecoin lending um, side of things. And in the future, they're going to have it so that um, if you basically convert some of your balance of your account to a crypto stable coin, then you will get um, tickets based on that and you'll get more tickets. So I think it said for every five dollars you deposit in the you know crypto account, I guess, then you will get one ticket instead of twenty five dollars. So you basically get five times as many tickets in the same lottery. Um, but Honestly, I'm not sure how much that would, you know, increase your winnings because um, maybe you would get some of those higher prizes, but at those higher levels, those prizes are just split among other people. So at that point, it would just be um, the same amount of prizes given out split among more people, I think. So I'm not sure how much that would actually help, but I definitely uh, would be interested uh, to see how exactly that works when that feature does come out. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching to the end of the video and make sure to sign up using my link if you are interested. I mean, it's totally uh, up to you, but if you are going to sign up, you might as well uh, use that link so we can both benefit a little bit. So thanks for watching again to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one.